We've added three inputs to our AI interface to make creating word searches with AI much easier and faster. Let's get started. To get to the word search tool, you can click on activity books, word search puzzle tool, or just click on the icon. Let's show you the new inputs. They're under title, word settings, you change select word list option from inner words to AI and now you have in addition to being able to input the theme for each puzzle you can input the language so if you want to create puzzles in different languages you can do that you enter the age level so you can specify whether you're looking for words for children or adults or whoever your target audience is and you can also input the maximum length for the words to control the size of the words that you get back from the AI engine. We've also added this select case for word list. The AI engine is not very consistent with the way it returns the words. Sometimes the first letter is capitalized, other times it's not. So this way you can select inputted case, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's whatever the AI returns is what you're going to see. You can select uppercase, which will convert all the words to uppercase, or lowercase, which will convert all the words to lowercase. And you have these options for when you just enter the words as well. So those aren't just specific to the AI engine. And we've also added puzzle starting number. So if you're trying to create a book with different types of puzzles, say five crosswords, five word searches, five mazes, etc., you can change the puzzle starting number so you can sequentially number all the puzzles in your book. Let's start by going to ChatGPT to get a list of themes that we can use for our puzzles. Let's start off by getting some ideas for the subject matter of our puzzle book. Let's say I'm going to create a book for children, eight to 10. So let's ask it for some ideas for word search books for children aged eight to 10. So now it's giving me a list, dinosaurs, space exploration, under the sea, superheroes, etc. So if you're doing a puzzle book with 100 word searches, you could ask it to give you ideas for 100 different dinosaur themed word searches, or you could have each one of them be different, like here. So I'm going to take the first 12 from here and use those as the themes for my word search puzzles. I've copied the first 12 themes, so I'm going to do 12 puzzles. I'm going to leave it in English. I'm going to change this to children aged 8 to 10. And I'm going to leave the maximum length at 15. I'm going to go to the puzzle setting page and set it up for 12 puzzles. I'm going to start numbering on number one. I'm going to have 12 words per puzzle, and let's use 20 letters across and 20 letters down. And let's go set my book to be an eight and a half by 11 with four answers per page. Now I can click on the refresh preview and here's the word search. I want to move this down just a little bit so I can start the title be a little further down and then maybe leave a little bit more space between the title and the puzzle. We'll do another refresh. And now that I have it the way I like it, I just need to click on the download button to get all 12 puzzles. And here's what my PDF looks like. We've got word search one, word search two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then we have all of our answer pages. So as you can see, this is a quick and easy way to create your word search books. 
You can just have ChatGPT give you a list of themes, you put it into this tool, and quickly you can create your entire word search book. If you have any questions about how to use this new feature, put that in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.